What's up? We're going to do another episode of Pimp My Kit. We're going to look at eye facts tonight, which are typically completely medically related, uh, but we're going to add a little bit of a rescue capability into it so we feel a little bit uh, more well-rounded and like dudes. So um, that being said, we kind of got the kit out that we packed some of these kits out tonight, uh, which would be pretty cool. Uh, we're going to start off with kind of a straight, straight medical kit, really small, and kind of go through what's packed into that uh, when we take a look. Once again, we're vacuum sealing a bunch of crap. So we'll kind of get over here. So this is pretty small. We always want to keep our tourniquet, at least one tourniquet, readily available for us. Uh, we have our backup tourniquet in this one. So on this one, we're looking at a soft TW tourniquet. Uh, we got an S-Mark bandage, which we use as a pressure dressing. So a lot of times we use something like an Elias or something like that. Um, this, if we pack a wound with gauze, uh, a hemostatic, we can get really good compression on that once that's packed in there. So it also folds up really nice for people that don't have a lot of, a lot of room, whether it's a patrol officer or someone running uh, reduced signature or anything like that. Um, so this is uh, the S mark, so that's in there. We also have the beacon chest seal in here. Uh, you see there's a lot of halos. This beacon's kind of folded, you can fold these in half and it's not gonna damage them once they get vacuum sealed. Pretty good, really good adhesive. Uh, so we've been pretty impressed with with the beacons. Did we you also see this thing on the chest seals in the latest issue of Off Grid Magazine. Off Grid Magazine. We've got an article in Off Grid. Take control of the tragedy. It's a pretty good article from uh, Andy Schrader, buddy of ours. Uh, I don't know, man. I read it, and uh, I'm married with a couple kids. But the dude in that article that he's interviewed sounds pretty hot. I'm just saying. I can't stop reading this. Yeah, I know. It's probably his beard. I'd look at it if I was you. Anyways. Andy Schrader, stud. Who's he with? Recon response? Recon response. Recon response. Florida Task Force. Does Florida Task Force train, so he's a structural engineer. Uh, stud, total brainiac, uh, goes in and does the uh, triages during uh, disasters or any kind of structural collapse issues. Finds out what uh, key components are screwed up and uh, writes that out for the teams coming in. Awesome dude, if you're on a task force or you're on a USAR team anywhere in the United States, get a hold of uh, Andy, man. If you have any questions or have a hard time getting a hold of him, hit us up and we'll get you in touch with uh, Schrader. Cute guy, we won't say anything about him having cats. cats. And when we say cats, not leopards um, or cheetahs. Actual uh, actual cats, yeah. But awesome dude nonetheless, right? We all we all have our quirks. So that's what this kit is, uh, along with combat gauze. So we got combat gauze. Uh, we also have the S-Mark in here. We have the soft TW and a uh, beacon chest seal. Boom, hits in, and then we have a seatbelt cutter that's in the back there to use for clothes. Kind of shoves in, it's actually in the TMS, uh, I think that's the Phantom tourniquet holder. So pretty small, vacuum seal, uh, pretty good. This is the, in an operator IFAC XL. And so when we hit this open, right off the bat, we can see we have a soft TW in there. We have a combat gauze in there. We're actually using a flat rolled Oleus in there. And we'll kind of take this out and show you what we're, what we're looking at here. There goes one flat roll. Then up front, we actually have one of the Kydex uh, duct tapes that fits in there, 14 gauge, three and a quarter inch needle. And then we have Halo chest seal rolled up and this is actually the double pack in there. But in the very back of this thing, we actually have vacuum seal litter, which we got to give props out to Greg on this one. So that is our full size litter. So what that looks like when it's out, swing around here. So it's kind of that emergency litter. Uh, you're in a position where you're not planning on having to do an evac, but it comes up and carrying somebody normally sucks. So this is the ultralight litter. So we got that thing folded up and we got it fitting in this type of packaging. Fits right in the back of the iPad. Then the last one we're going to take a look at uh, is a little bit thinner than this one. This is the regular operator iFAC uh, from TMS. We got the soft TW on the bottom in a flat roll. Thanks to Climbing Ninja on that one. Open this one up. And actually, that was from uh, who did the original roll on this, man? ITS? ITS uh, does the flat roll on it. So uh, that's a phenomenal way to do it. On this one, beacon chest seal, double pack. 
got the duct tape and MPA. Uh, got our needle, 14 gauge needle in here, just because uh, because we could. We went ahead and vacuum sealed a couple sets of gloves in that thing, um, as we did a couple other instances. On this one, once again, combat gauze. Uh, there's a reason we carry combat gauze, which uh, you can email us and talk to you about. Flat roll, and on the back of this one, we actually have a vacuum sealed uh, ERS strap. So it's an evacuation and rigging strap that fits in the back there. So we can do anything vertical with this. We can do any kind of horizontal drags. We can rig them for stairwells, corkscrews, throw them out windows. We've actually uh, hoisted people up into a heel. You have an ERS strap with them? Yeah, right here. How's that article? Oh, it's killer, Phenomenal, keeping your attention. Killer. Awesome. And this is the ERS. So you can check out Rescue Craft's YouTube channel on some ways to use that. We're getting ready to do some rigging with it tomorrow. So we can use it as a rigging anchor strap or as a casualty evacuation strap, which holds them in like a modified uh, class three harness. And we got some handles on there. Then anything you clip into the black is actually hoistable. Uh, big thing with this one is there's some other straps out there that kind of duplicate that or try to. And unfortunately they don't use uh, the right um, thread. They don't use the right bar tacks. Uh, you may have seen Dom throw that in the last video. This one is uh, made in conjunction with Rescue Technologies, contrasting thread on the reds. So uh, does really good. I think uh, Andy did another article, man, in Concealed Handgun, Concealed Carry, uh, for Recoil also. It's coming out that talks about this and the, uh, the other litter. And that is uh, basically our uh, downsize IFAX. Uh, the next one we're gonna talk about, we're gonna talk about the new uh, Phantom uh, evacuation kit, and uh, I think we're good to go. Dom, anything? Stay well, go. See ya. Thanks. <laughs>